Hi, my name is Ian Byers and I'm here today to explain the features of the R-Car integrated cockpit demo at uh, DevCon 2015. So I'd like to start with the, the hardware aspects of the demo. So this demo is based on uh, the R-Car H2 device uh, and uh, we have many features uh, along with that hardware. The first screen that we are going to describe today is the integrated cluster screen. And uh, this particular screen, the HMI, uh, was, was designed utilizing the Rightware software. And uh, as you can see here, the mechanical, uh, or the, the implementation of the mechanical gauge and the, the virtual screen environment is done with uh, 3D uh, drawing. So this, this in particular may be hard to see on camera, but you, you get a full 3D effect when you're looking at those particular gauges. On the center screen, we have a number of applications that we'd like to show. Uh, the first is a, a mock-up of a climate control system. So as you can see in the middle here, uh, we have a capacitive touch screen with uh, virtual buttons and we show some active content here. The second screen, uh, the next option down is a navigation menu. So we have a couple of navigation options here. Uh, the first being this one, which shows a, uh, just a basic shadow of a 3D building with a route uh, and, and some route guidance at the top. <clears throat> the next screen is a, a uh, simulated radio screen. So we have options for FM, AM, and some other digital radio standards here. The next screen is the local media playback screen. So as you can see here, we have options for local music. So this would be music stored on your uh, CenterStack system. And we have another option for video content. So these videos are H.264 uh, compressed video. And uh, we have hardware acceleration on the R-Car devices uh, to be able to play these. And uh, we'll see those in just a minute on the, the third screen. Another thing that we'll show in just a minute on the third screen is uh, the capability for uh, users or drivers to plug in their own phone and play back their own media. So we have support, as you see here, for both the Apple CarPlay as well as uh, Google's Android Auto. And then the other options here are just some settings and some other uh, touchscreen test applications. And the last item here, we have support uh, in the system that you see here for a single rear view camera as well as a surround view. And we'll take a look at both of those on the third screen in just a moment. We have a surround view, uh, four camera, Ethernet AVB demonstration, as well as a, a fifth camera here simulating the, a single rear view camera option. And the next thing we're going to take a look at on the third screen is the surround view application. And the four Ethernet ABB based cameras uh, are sending data to the, the RCAR H2 platform. And what you're seeing here is a 360 degree stitched image of that, that camera data. And uh, it's, it's fully touchscreen enabled, so you can rotate the view and you can get a full view of the demo floor here. And it also has zoom capabilities, so zoom in and out. And the next thing we have here is uh, just a rear view. So this is the, the fifth camera uh, that's in the center console here. And uh, this is a, a direct connected camera to the, the H2 as opposed to an ethernet based camera. So this is just a little bit different configuration. Uh, simulating a, uh, a backup camera or a rear view camera on a vehicle. So here we're going to connect an Android based phone and it <clears throat> gives us a home screen option with uh, uh, some media playback from that phone. So we can start that music playing and uh, you can hear that going on in the background. And we'll pause that for just a moment and another feature that, that we can uh, show here is the uh, the Google Maps feature. So this is Google Maps coming from the phone data connection. So as you can see here, we're showing our location uh, of the, the demonstration here. And we'll go ahead and disconnect the phone there. And another feature uh, is the, the local video playback. So we'll also start video playback here. So you can see, again, this is utilizing the on-chip uh, acceleration hardware for H.264 or various other media codecs. It couldn't be warmer. 
It couldn't be sunnier, but that's about to change. So this is a, a, a good way to offload the processing horsepower that would otherwise be needed uh, on the general purpose cores, again, by utilizing the, the on-chip hardware acceleration. So this is a, just a demonstration of that feature. Thank you.